feeling. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pody. Today, we are in the new 2019 Volkswagen Jetta GLI, courtesy of Hanover Volkswagen in Hanover, PA. And so now since the Jetta GLI is now out, there have been a ton of reviews on this thing. And I gotta say, I've been watching quite a bit of them because this car looks freaking good. And so of course I thought I had to test it out for myself. So as always, you guys, let's start with pricing. And so there are a few different trim levels for the 2019 Jetta GLI. First one being the S starting at $25,995. 35th anniversary edition, which is the one we have today. That one is gonna start at $26,000. $6,995 and lastly the Autobahn for $29,195 but regardless of trim level that you go with, the power plant on this one is going to be the same. Powering the 2019 GLI is going to be a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder engine, putting out 228 horsepower at 5,000 RPM, 258 pound feet of torque available at 1,700 RPM. That is a very low RPM range to start that torque, so that's pretty cool. Set to the front wheels through a six speed manual, which is back for 2019. Well done Volkswagen or a seven speed DSG, which is the one we have today. That is an $800 option, by the way, if you wanted it. But so when you add all that up together, Volkswagen claims the zero to 60 time is gonna come in at approximately six seconds flat with MPG numbers coming in at 25 in the city, 32 on the highway and recommended fuel, by the way, is regular unleaded or 87 octane. So that's definitely nice. Save you a little bit of money at the pump there. But before we do any kind of acceleration, there are a few different driving modes located to the left of the shifter there. And they will include eco comfort, normal sport and custom and so currently I had put it in sport driving mode because it is going to adjust the throttle response the shift points if you have the DSG but my favorite part is the steering sensitivity with that sport driving mode a steering feel has noticeably a heavier weight to it and I am always a fan of heavier weighted steering wheels so I can definitely say the steering feel is quite nice in that sport driving mode in this thing and by the way that DSG transmission that we have today does happen to give you paddle shifters as well so what do you say let's test out the acceleration along with the paddle shifters and we'll see how quickly we can get this turbocharged four cylinder here up to speed <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> Yeah, this thing is fun. Definitely pleasantly surprised. This thing has some get up and go. I even got a little bit of chirpage going on in that first gear, but dang, this thing's pretty quick. Not to mention the paddle shifters. They're instantaneous. Absolutely love it. This thing, this Jetta GLI is well done when it comes to that. But so anyways, acceleration is quite fun, but braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 13.4 inch ventilated front discs, which by the way, these front discs are the same rotors found on the Golf R, in case you were curious. In the back, 11.8 inch solid rear discs, which are gonna be larger actually than the standard Jetta. And of course, with all that being said, the braking feel has been perfectly fine for me today definitely brings you to a quick stop again it has golf r brakes so i guess that makes sense but so touching on suspension a little bit up front you will find a strut type front suspension with lower control arms coil springs and telescopic dampers in the back a multi-link rear suspension and this actually is significant because in the standard jetta that one gives you a torsion beam rear suspension so the jetta gli not only upgrades the acceleration but also the braking and also the handling so really all around this is definitely more of a performance vehicle as expected comparatively speaking to the standard Jetta so you can expect better handling as well along with front and rear stabilizer bars and as I had previously mentioned the steering feel is great at least when you're in sport mode it is a little less heavy of a feel when you're in normal mode but definitely a fan of the way I have it set up now as far as ride quality goes it is definitely as expected I'll put it that way it's certainly not bad and actually we have some railroad tracks here so yeah, soaks them up pretty good. So it is as expected, I would say. When it comes to cabin noise, actually don't have an issue there. I recently had test driven the Tiguan, and I think that one definitely comes in a little bit louder than this Jetta GLI would. So no issues there. And then touching on visibility, this is a sedan. So again, you're not gonna have any issues there, but enough with the driving dynamics. Let's now check out the exterior of this slightly refreshed 2019 Volkswagen Jetta GLI. And so starting up front, you will find LED headlights for every single trim level of the Jetta GLI, that's definitely nice. And that of course is gonna come with LED daytime running lights up there as well. In the center, a black honeycomb front grille with red accents and of course the GLI badging within that front grille as well. 
Make your way to the side GLI badging once again within that front fender. Actually, it looks quite good there in my opinion. Looking at the side mirrors, they will come body colored for the S in the Autobahn. However, if you went with the 35th anniversary trim level, you will find black side mirrors. So a little added contrast there, and this side mirrors will all come heated as well. And another thing I wanted to mention, taking a look up top there, there is a black roof for the 35th anniversary edition and the Autobahn. Taking a look back down when it comes to the wheel setup, all trim levels are gonna come with 18 inch alloy wheels, and they will come with a black finish if you went with the 35th anniversary edition. But now make your way to the Back, there is a rear spoiler for all trim levels just below that led tail lights again all trim levels will come with those led tail lights along with led license plate lighting it's the little things that count i always like to mention that with the volkswagens gli badging back there is expected to just below all of it dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips so as always you guys here is that exhaust clip So, but now since we are round back to open that rear trunk, there actually is a button on the key fob and that will simply swing open for you there. Once opened up, cargo capacity is gonna come in at 14.1 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there is a 60-40 split providing a good bit of extra space there if you needed it. Make your way up to the rear legroom that comes in at 37.4 inches. So for reference, I'm at even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. Also for those rear passengers though, they will also find rear center armrest with cup holders back there as well. Then make your way to the front seats the s trim level and the 35th anniversary trims will give you manually adjustable cloth seats and I actually find them quite comfortable i've had no issues with the seating here today if you wanted leather seats however go with the autobahn trim level and the 35th anniversary trim is also going to give you a specific tag on the seats i thought that was pretty cool i always like the little easter eggs that cars give you here and there so that's pretty nice and heated front seats are going to come standard on all trim levels as well to take a look up front there is a tilt and telescoping steering wheel and it will come leather wrapped with a flat bottom and the gli etched into the bottom portion of it and when it comes to the startup, let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your Volkswagen logo on the one side, and when you flip it over, lock, unlock, and again, that button to pop the rear hatch there. But to start this one, there is a push button start just to the left of the shifter. So all I'm going to do is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button there. And so, but then once started up, tachometer is gonna be on your left, speedometer is on your right. There is a small digital display front and center. And I gotta be honest, I'm also a fan of the little red accents within the gauges. Typically, Volkswagen won't do that on their standard G Jetta, so I'm definitely a fan of the red accents. And if you were curious if you can get the Volkswagen digital cockpit in the Jetta GLI, you can if you go with the Audubon trim level. And now touching on overall interior quality, this one has quite a bit. First thing I wanted to mention is everything is tilted slightly towards the driver, including the ventilation, including the infotainment screen. I love that. It's more of a driver-centric cabin, just like the Nissan GTR. A lot of other high-performance cars do this, and I gotta say I'm a huge fan of what Volkswagen did with this. Panoramic sunroof will come with the Audubon trim level, electronic parking brake for all trims, as well as dual zoom climate control, and ambient lighting with 10 different color options. Again, all trim levels are gonna give you that, along with a black headliner, stainless steel pedal caps, also a fan of that, illuminated scuff plates, also come standard with every single trim level. So overall, I definitely don't mind the interior quality. I absolutely love that everything is tilted slightly towards the driver, but let's take a look at the tech display up here. The S trim level in the 35th anniversary edition is gonna give you a 6.5 inch color touchscreen display. That is gonna be bumped up to an eight inch color touchscreen screen display if you go with the Autobahn. Either way, you get Bluetooth and audio streaming as well as Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. You can also actually check out gas prices in your current area, weather updates, and of course your radio settings. And when it comes to this sound system, S trim level, the 35th anniversary edition is gonna give you six speakers. If you went with the Audubon, you're gonna get an eight speaker sound system by Beats with 400 watts. However, we do not have the Audubon. We do have the six speaker sound system. So let's turn on the radio, see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this one. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I played Justin Timberlake. I'm sorry. Actually a good bit of bass though for six speakers. I was kind of impressed. Also like the placement of the speakers. You don't usually see them placed on these front pillars quite often unless you have a ton of speakers so I think that's pretty cool but overall definitely no issues with the sound system in this one but then last thing I wanted to mention on the tech display at least is when you do put the Jetta GLI in reverse you will find a rear view camera for every single trim level letting you know who or what is behind you which is always is going to lead me into safety and so to start there are front 
front side and side curtain airbags. In the back, there is latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Also, a tire pressure monitoring system will come standard along with a blind spot monitoring system that is for all trim levels. That is definitely impressive. I'm a big fan of that. Also, all trims will give you forward collision warning. And again, all trims autonomous emergency braking as well. All right, so, but anyways, that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold.